Hey guys, Tom Cherry on the Linux MCE. I wanted to uh, give a quick demonstration of the uh, UPnP functionality that's actually inside each and every copy of Linux MCE since 0710. Uh, both UPnP server and client functionality is available, uh, which basically means that the Linux MCE core will export any of its media that it knows about, that it has crawled all over the house and export it out via its server and it is also a UPnP client so if you have any media drives media players with storage etc etc Linux MCE will take crawl those devices and bring back all of the media stored onto them back into the core essentially bringing it all and funneling it all back into one place I'm going to show you one very specific uh, piece of functionality, uh, and that is uh, something I discovered today, namely that the Nokia N810 has a um, plugin for Canola, Canola being the uh, heavyweight media player that is available now for uh, the Nokia N800 and N810 running uh, 4.0 and above uh, of the operating system. Um, of MAMO and um, it's a very capable player and one of the things that it has is a UPnP plugin. Now we start off with showing the application list here and if you'll notice on the application list one of the things that's here is actually um, the UPnP plugin. If you have your MAMO repositories installed, you can uh, essentially go through and install the UPnP plugin onto your device, and it will work just fine. Um, I wish, I really do wish I had better zoom on this than I do, but um, hopefully you can see. Uh, once you have this installed, you can go into Canola, which very easy to get to. We go back to my home for a moment go back into my uh, go back into extras canola here is in my extras menu and once I launch it you'll see that the display changes rather drastically it's a rather nice media player I mean they did a wonderful job making it all nice and zoomy and apple -y looking and etc etc but Anyway, you'll notice that if you've run Canola before, now that you've installed the plugin, you'll see a new uh, a new icon called Media Servers. Clicking on it will bring you to uh, will literally bring you to your media servers. Easy enough to get to at this point. All we do is we search for what we want to get to. Once that's there. We of course see the Myth TV uh, AV server, and that's there if you want to pull up any TV recordings or whatnot that you want to play. But you also have the Linux MCE video server as well. And inside it, data. We go down, and I'm going to go ahead. Of course, we can play audio just fine. I go to audio, and I'll pick my severed heads real quick just to have a quick demonstration. The nice thing about it is, is that the UPnP player that we have inside of here will currently transcode audio. It can transcode video as well, we just don't have the feature enabled yet, but once we do, any file formats that, UP, that this device does not natively understand will have everything converted for them automatically. Notice that since this is transcoded it takes a moment, but once it's actually done and ready, uh, we will hear the music start to play. Again, this is transcoded, so it takes a moment. There we go. So that's audio in a nutshell. Now video. I'm going to push up a little bit here. Go to videos. Come on. And I'm going to go straight to my older drive which has more uh, video files that are lower resolution that I can easily play. 
And uh, I think we'll actually scroll down a bit. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. Oops. Didn't mean to start this one. Uh, the only limiting factor seems to be right now the processor speed on the uh, Nokia N810 is not that fast, so large bandwidth video will have a bit of a problem playing. Uh, but as you can see, it's skipping a little bit. Audio is fine, but the video is cho a little bit choppy. That's because this CPU is just a little bit strained to try and play this. So, we go back a bit. I want to pick something else. Go all the way down. And since Chasing Amy is all in, ca in, in lowercase, it's at the bottom of my list. But... So there we go. The ability to, uh, well, with a bit of tweaking, uh, be able to play uh, video that is on your uh, Linux MCE core, even on your Nokia. This would be pretty good eventually once we get it uh, dealt with to watch something that's like in the comfort of your own bed and you don't want to interrupt your spouse or if you're, a kid, you know, if you just want to watch something in the privacy of your own under the yeah, I cannot talk today. Under the privacy of your own covers. So, there we go. Now, um, some other things we need to do. Uh, we need to make a device profile for the Nokia N810, which basically transcodes everything uh, down to iPod size so that it plays nice and smoothly. Uh, I feel once we do that, the usability of this will go up quite immensely. And, um, well, uh, this is actually the first step. We're actually hoping that eventually we'll be able to launch videos right straight from the orbiter uh, so that we can, if you want to actually watch something on the Nokia N810, you can. But this is a good step in that direction. So, um, until next time, I hope you guys have enjoyed the little presentation. I will talk to you guys soon enough. Later.